Good evening, and welcome again to Slib's World. Tonight we're going to do some orchid surgery. So if you will take a look at this Enantholia Middleburg, it has a lot of spots on the leaves. So I'll take a closer look over here. Now, spots aren't always something you have to worry about, but this particular one, you can see the spots are all these irregular shapes, which causes me to worry. It makes me think it's a fungal infection. So we're going to actually remove all the leaves that have these spots, which is kind of a shame because this is a new growth. But all the leaves coming out of it are terribly spotted with these irregular spots. And this plant has had problems with spotting before. You can see I've done some leaf chops before, but I didn't really get it all. And here we have another relatively new growth, which has some new spots. And unfortunately there's one on the pseudobulb as well, so we're not going to remove the pseudobulb, but we are going to remove as much as we can from the leaves. This has a great flower. It's kind of a waxy purple flower, and it has a beautiful fragrance. So I'm really hoping it can come through, but I think it can, even if we chop off a bunch of the leaves. Because if you look right here, we have a new growth. Hooray! A nice little new growth. It's very exciting. This is very cool. So, yay. Next on the surgery roster is this No ID Phalaenopsis, which I rescued from a flower shop. And it was sitting outside, and, um,. Its leaves got a little bit sunburnt. You can see the weird variation on the leaves. I had another one from the same place that had uh, way worse sunburn, but um, I've actually given that one away. Now this one is pretty healthy. It's got this little root coming up, which is nice, and it's got a lot of healthy roots. Um, there is something kind of weird, like this leaf grew, I think it, due to the stress on the plant, the leaf grew in kind of strange. But there is also this ugly, ugly thing on the leaf. So we don't want that. We have to get rid of that. I don't know what it is, probably some sort of bacterial fungal thing. So we're gonna chop it off right here and doctor up the wound and you'll be able to see how we do that. And it'll make for a much healthier plant because I don't want that to spread. Next we have the Miltoniopsis, which is yet another rescue. Now it's got spotting on the leaves, but this looks more normal. Except, you know, we've got this little blotch here. And we, don't, we don't have to be you know, too, too crazy about it, but... Um, you can see these little speckles, they're kind of like freckles. They're not really... They're not really serious. It's, um... It's pretty common. You can see it's on most of the leaves. I don't feel like I have to worry about that very much. But I do have this yellowing leaf. And... That could just be, no, it's probably not the natural order of things, because this is a new growth. Um, so, I don't like the looks of uh, unhappy, uh, unhappy leaves on my new growth, so I'm going to chop that one off. We're not going to go as crazy on this one as on the Enantholia, because from experience I know that the Enantholia is, um, it has this problem, this particular plant has this problem, so yeah. But we're gonna um, chop off the yellow and hope that it doesn't continue to happen. So this is doing pretty well. I've zoomed in because we've got some new, new roots in here, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, I had repotted this and it has beautiful red flowers. It's my only Miltoniopsis. So I'm hoping it'll bloom from this new growth. So here we have our surgical supplies. First and foremost is the rubbing alcohol used to sterilize the scissors. Now this is a really gross old bottle. I just keep reusing it, so forgive the grossness of it. It's a very nice bottle. It sprays well. Next we have our cutting tool, our surgical cutting tool, otherwise known as scissors, so which we're going to use to remove the leaves after I've sterilized the blades. And after that we have Something very important, the cinnamon. The cinnamon, cinnamon is an antifungal agent which we are going to use to seal the wounds. Now in case you didn't catch that, it's not actually cinnamon, it is uh, cinnamon, just regular old cinnamon. I'm not responsible for that label, 
Do not think I cannot spell. And finally, we have the Q-tips, which we are going to use to apply the cinnamon to the wounds, which will seal them up and make everything okay. All right, so let's start with our most difficult subject, the Ananthelia Middleburg. Now, please forgive the camera angle if the camera falls. It's on a pile of books and a really crappy little tripod, so it's not it's not really in the best uh, in the best position. But I'll hope I'll try not to knock it, and uh, we'll see. So, let's start with this one that I've already chopped off a bit. This, uh, yeah. So, um, here goes nothing. Oh, that's difficult to do. All right. Let's go for the other one. Oh dear. Oh, maybe I should chop it off all the way because I'm noticing inside there's some more of that. I'm just going to chop it right off at the top of the pseudo bulb. Forgive me, orchid gods. Ugh. Okay. All right. So that's quite the wound there. But we really don't want this fungal infection continuing. So, I'm going to take some cinnamon. And dab it on the top. And that'll dry it out and keep further infection from spreading. Now we'll move on to this other new growth, the culprit, the one that's in the worst shape. So just chop away. Don't worry, the plant has been heavily sedated. All right, so these two leaves are now for the compost. Time to say goodbye. Time to dab some cinnamon on the wounds. Alright, so it's starting to look pretty spot free. If you look, there's um there's this little guy here. Now what I might do is I might just keep an eye on that because I don't want to traumatize the plant too much right now. So these might not spread, these two spots. There's one here and one here. So I'm just gonna leave it for now and keep an eye on it and make sure that it doesn't spread. If it starts to spread, I will do the same thing and chop off the leaves once again. Now this one, I think I'm going to chop this one because this doesn't look so good. All right. There's another cinnamon. All right, so this is looking pretty okay. Uh, it smells like fresh cut grass in here. You know, I don't like hurting my orchids, but you know, it's for the best. So here we have the Ananthelia Middleburg, fully doctored up and surgically, leaves surgically removed. All right, our next subject is the Phalaenopsis with this weird canker sore on it. And that looks like an infection for sure. So we're gonna chop that right off. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is sterilize the scissors because that is important to do between plants. I don't want whatever fungal infection is going on in the Ananthelia to be transferred to our Phalaenopsis. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut off part of the leaf. So here goes nothing. Just like that. Disease part, gone. Now we apply the cinnamon. Oh, new Q-tip. Ooh, that's a juicy leaf. Poor thing. Well, I'm just kind of covering it totally in cinnamon. You can't really hurt. I mean, you don't really want to do this when you're cutting roots because it'll desiccate the roots, that's why. It is an astringent, so it is a drying sort of thing, so it'll just dry things out. So this Phalaenopsis, that will not spread. It'll be fine, this leaf will remain viable. Hopefully we'll have a new one. Next we've got our Miltoniopsis. Now it's kind of awkwardly held up by my left hand here because I cannot get the camera in the right position. This is a very tall plant. So I'm going to do it one-handed, one-handed surgery. The scissors have been sterilized and we're ready to go. Chop. And that's it. Now we got to apply the cinnamon. This 
Cinnamon, cinnamon. There we go. Miltoniopsis, clean and ready to go. So our three friends have been roused from their anesthetic-induced coma, and they're feeling pretty okay. Except maybe this Anemphalia is doing a little bit, um, still feeling a little sick with these spots here, but we don't want to stress the poor plant too much. So, we got our Anemphalia, Phalaenopsis, and Miltoniopsis all ready to go. And, uh, yeah, that was the basics of 101 Orchid Surgery, um, removing dead and spotted leaves. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, and that would be really great. I'll try to make things as educational as possible and hopefully not too boring. So that is that, and have a good night, and I'll see you next time.